All right, so I'm just gonna uh, go over quickly my uh, new canoe with the uh, all the accessories that I put on it. Um, just recently, the latest was the GoPro Hero camera. It's a GoPro Hero 3 uh, white edition. Um, I added a monopole with that to uh, give me a, some good angles. So I'll go go over the uh, over the boat. <clears throat> so here it is here. Um, what I've done here at the front was I added a just a just a uh, piece of plywood I cut out and uh, I'm gonna replace this with the new canoe um, I think it's called a multi mount um, it's a black plastic piece that goes here um, I'll, I'll take my uh, my my iPhone mount and replace it on there put maybe a drink holder or something on there too um, this is my fish finder which I mounted. Um, I used a little rubber grommet with some marine goop around it to keep it water watertight. Um, and then the hatch that I installed myself, I cut this out with a jigsaw, uh, marine gooped the whole thing, and I uh, used rivets. I'll probably replace these with some better marine grade rivets afterwards. Um, if you look inside here, you can see my transducer uh, submersed in marine goop with some foam around it. And then on the other side I've got my little battery tray for my fish finder. Here's the fish finder here, it's just on demo right now. Um, it's just an Eagle Cuda 300, uh, should work really good when I'm done. Uh, here's my iPhone, my iPhone holder. Um, the iPhone holder actually has, or sorry, the iPhone has an app for GoPro. Um, so basically what I can do with that is I can turn my camera on uh, using the iPhone itself uh, using Wi-Fi uh, here's the the uh, modular um, the uh, GoPro um, camera mount that I installed just use a Scotty rod holder <clears throat> mounted it into the holder itself and this is completely retractable goes in and out just like that and up top here, I just used a, a, a car mount for a, a for a cell phone holder to make it uh, so I can change the angle to pretty much put it anywhere I want. Um, should look pretty cool from here. This is the view that I'm going to get from the camera when it's on the back of the boat. I can change it. I can swing it out this way. I can swing it over the other way too. Um, here's my marine box that I installed. I put these little uh, irrigation pipes on the side to make it so that it wouldn't tip over. So it's nice and sturdy now, so I'll probably add some rod holders on the back here at some point. Uh, my little trout my little trout net here and my little backpack carry anything that I might need. Um, flush mount rod holders here. So when I'm not using them, they come out and basically just, they're nice and flush and out of the way. I've got a second one there as well. Um, it's, uh, that one, that one there may get in the way of my paddle stroke. This one here, I did measure it very closely to make sure that when I'm paddling, it doesn't get in the way. Um, so there it is, kind of in a nutshell. Um, I do have an electric motor and a battery for the for the uh, for the boat as well. But for this point, at this point, I just love paddling, so I'm going to save the electric motor and all that stuff for for later in the summer when we get into trolling and uh, maybe maybe even set up a downrigger on here. Anyway, so that's my boat. Uh, it's coming along good. I wish the weather was a little bit uh, warmer so I could get out and paddle around and do some fishing. Tight lines and uh, make sure that you click on like if you like the video.